Hello, everybody. Welcome to the q &A recording of the film Into the Ice, playing as part of 12th European Union Human Rights Film Days. I'm here with uh, the film's director, the documentary's director, Lars Ostenfeld today. Hi, Lars. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. And um, I hope you are fine, too. Yes, we're fine. And thank you for being here with us today. Uh, I'm really excited to talk about your documentary. First of all, I just want to give a little information about you to our audience. Mm -hmm. um, Lars has many years of experience in science and nature documentaries. Most recently, he directed and filmed episodes of the Ars major, major nature series, Wild, Wonderful, Denmark, and documentary Tracking the Wolf. Together with DTU Space and Astrophysics uh, and Jess C. Anderson of the Nails Bohr Institute. He was also behind the Earth's life from space, in which mm -hmm. 360 degree live footage was sent from space for the first time using a balloon with live streaming cameras. It's amazing. And Lars Ostenfield is also the creator of the, the Polar Bear Live. So, yeah. uh, do you want to add anything else to this, Lars? No, I just want to add that Polar Bear Live was actually during Co uh, COP24. Five, I think it was. Uh, I mean, this is the end, the last day we have COP 26, 27 now. Um, and I just want to say that it was during the COP meetings, uh, we were streaming live from Canada with or without polar bears into the meeting rooms, 200 meeting rooms with polar bears. That wow. was amazing. Amazing. Yeah. And I already see that you're you're always involved with nature and nature is one mm. of your favorite subjects, I guess, because you've been uh, take, making films about it for yeah. so long. And first of all, I want to start by asking you about child about your childhood, because in the documentary, you talk about a time when one of your favorite places uh, was destroyed. Right. Can you yeah. tell us about that? I think that was like the beginning of uh, your maybe in a, your career in future, right? It, it was. Uh, I mean, I find uh, that was a, a you know kind of forest and fields behind my my parents' house, and uh, I could actually escape from the world. Uh, that was my own world. Uh, there was a lot of adventure uh, down there in, in in the forest, and I am enjoying it. And um, then I start bringing my cameras because. I re because I was there a lot of a lot, not every day, but you know a lot. Yeah. And uh, then I start recognize that the nature is changing. Some you know sometimes there's water in 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 the in the lake. Sometimes the water is very low. Sometimes yeah. there's a lot of water. Sometimes you you have a lot of birds. Sometimes uh, no bird at all. And so it it was changing. And I found that. Uh, I was interesting in, to to discover it, and then I start bringing my camera and taking a lot of pictures, um, and sometimes I, I, maybe people start calling me a nerd because I was <laughs> going, going out in you know early morning taking pictures of animals uh, in the forest uh, while people were sleeping because there was a party <laughs> last night. Uh, so maybe I was a little bit stupid and crazy. But I, I, I think that's wonderful, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Your documentary is, I think, really, really inspiring. It also gives a lot of knowledge. And also, it's it's a really excited documentary, too, I have to say, because it's it's like it's like a film, an exciting film at the same time. Um, mm. I loved it so much. And I wanted to uh, ask you by starting uh, your uh, telling about Mulans, Mulans at the uh, at the ISIS. Can you tell about what are Mulans? Because probably many people won't know about so can you explain yeah. us what are they and how did you decide to shoot this documentary? Uh, well, I was sitting in my living room uh, five years ago and, and like everybody else, uh, you know, yeah. reading the newspaper. And then I wrote an article about a big, big, huge iceberg in Antarctica in, in, in the south was mm -hmm. starting to cutting off uh, from, the, from the ice and, and move. A, a big iceberg was born basically yeah. and and the the iceberg was as the size of manhattan or something like that and said wow uh, uh, that's big i mean i couldn't understand it and then i start researching a little bit um uh, about that how big is the ice uh, in 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 south and 
how big is the ice in north in in, in Greenland? And then I discover I actually know nothing about it. I, I, we can we can all read about it. Uh, ice is melting, sea level is rising. Yeah, I'm, the global is in crisis. We know that, and we read about it every day uh, if we want to. Um, yeah, but then I discover I actually don't know what the England ice sheet is, and that's where the the, the world is heating up fastest right now. And and then I discover. I actually don't know what it is. Is there any animals living on the ice sheet? Mm. Is there any trees, any plants, anything? Uh, how big is it? And then um, I start talking to some scientists and some people who know Greenland. And one of them, he knew a guy crazy enough to climb inside the, the, the ice. And I saw, you know, this black picture. And in the middle of the picture, there was a light. Um, uh, straight light down to a red jacket and that guy was uh, called Klaus well, and then yes. I called him like what a moonland is it is the ice is melting uh, because of the heat and the sun and it makes a lot of rivers because when ice is melting there's a lot of liquid water coming and making a lot of rivers and a lot of uh, lakes uh, and where the ice is have a, having a soft spot, the the water always wants to go down, 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 and um, it will try to find its way down through the ice, where there's a soft spot, maybe a crevasse, you know, a, mm -hmm. a, a, or a small hole, and it will start digging and uh, uh, moving around and, and make the hole bigger and bigger and bigger, because the water wants to go down, down, and the the system is basically this is very simple and and the uh, uh, the way I'm telling it now. But the the water melts, the ice is melting. The water wants to go down, find its way down to the bottom, and find its way out to the ocean. To the ocean, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that hole is called the moulin because the water is start uh, um, going around and around and around like a windmill. And in French, windmill is moulin. Uh -huh. uh, yes. So that's where we have, and and I guess because some Frenchman was the first one ever discover discover this uh -huh. phenomenon happened. That's why it's called yeah, uh, and... And, 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 mm -hmm. and it could it could be you know small holes. It could be one meter in in square. Meter. It could be like the hole we are going descend into. It's twenty meters in 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 the, the descent. It's amazing. I mean, it's the shots were amazing, and maybe there are still some people who haven't seen the documentary. And I believe when they saw it, they will be shocked because the inside is also really, really beautiful and amazing. Yeah. It, it must have been an amazing experience. And I see at the documentary that you guys are a little bit afraid, especially you're like, "Oh my god, yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope we're gonna turn alive from here. Can we make?" it and you're going down meters 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 down and it's also a really uh complicated situation right uh, how was that experience mm -hmm. for you it, it was yeah crazy uh yeah. dangerous and crazy beautiful yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was amazing beautiful it was out of this world beautiful but at the same time i mean that hole we we descend into it's 20 meters in the uh, in square and it's 176, I mean, almost 200 meters deep. And uh, that hole was forming by water, melting water, in two months. B two months before, there was no hole. Yeah, yeah. It's so amazing. That gives you, I mean, that's that's telling you the power of water and, and ice. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, when we... I was scared as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's seen in a documentary. Yeah. I mean, you're scared, yeah. but also you're curious to go down there yeah. and to explore that space, right? Yeah, yeah. And 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 of of course, it was not just just the Red Bull action. Uh, now of we course. want to go down. we want to go down there because it's still a mystery what's happening inside exactly. the ice, uh, and nobody really knows. Nobody have ever seen liquid water at the bottom during the winter time. So it was very important to discover what is going on. And this hole was that deep and that big. So um, it actually gave us an uh, opportunity to, to make a world record. Uh, 
how deep can a human body, a human uh, going inside the inner thighs and search, uh, searching for liquid water. And you also, we were, this, the, who is listening to this, uh, also have to know the, the reason water is, liquid water is important is because when there's water inside the ice during the summertime, when the ice is melting, it is moving very fast. Mm -hmm. Because the water is lifting up the, the ice sheet and it it's moving much easier. It's like an ice cube on a, on a table. It's moving very good when you have some water underneath it. And, yeah. and during the winter time, so far, they thought there's no liquid water underneath. And that means the ice is moving slower uh, towards the, o the ocean. And that means less sea level rise and that means uh -huh. uh, better for us human but some science was telling that the ice is actually also moving in winter time why and we to understand why the why we also need to understand is there water liquid water underneath the ice sheet during mm. the winter time? and that's that's the reason we we climb in and and, and did the crazy stuff we did we do in in the film but it was important to understand and yeah, I was scared as hell, but I also was <laughs> curiously. So what you saw out there, I mean, to the audience who haven't uh, watched it uh, right now, uh, uh, can you tell us what you saw and the things you saw, can they make a difference for our environmental knowledge so we can act accordingly, maybe uh, take some precautions? I don't know. If, if Can you give information about that? Yeah. What we learned? Uh, first of all, we saw a lot. I mean, it was... A lot of ice uh, in different forms and 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 a, a lot of blue and white and gray yeah. colors and uh, i think it's alan hubbard the scientist is saying it's like a cathedral uh, yeah with all yeah, the pipes. It was. yeah all the pipes and things like that at the bottom we discover that we find liquid water uh, uh -huh. we find a water table uh, and we were two hundred, almost two hundred meters down, deep in into the ice in, in, inside the ice sheet. And, and still, still the, the the ice sheet was more than one kilometer thick where we were. So that means from, I mean the light the the the, the last eight hundred meters was with water and without water. We don't know how much water there was inside, but it 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 was. But there a clear was water. Yeah. 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 There's water inside. Of course, this is this was one hole, one, one moon out of thousands. Yeah, but it gives us a sign there is water inside the ice sheet during the winter time. And that and, maybe I'm sorry, I, I'm just gonna ask. Uh, maybe that means that the water level uh, will rise yeah. a lot sooner than we think, right? That yeah. th this yeah. means that yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah because yeah. you know what. Uh, our knowledge is coming from satellites, from overflights, from radar, from a distance. Yeah. And that means we only know the surface of the ice sheet. What's happening inside, we don't know much about. And half of the melting is happening inside the ice sheet. So basically, you can say uh, we don't know half of the how how fast and how much. Uh, of the ice sheet is melting because we don't know half of the the melting process, yeah. and 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 the, it means sea level rise could be in Denmark in in this century it could be half meter it could be one meter but it could also be two meters. Yeah, we don't know how much it will rise. It's impossible to predict the exact uh, yeah. time, yeah. I guess, right? Yeah. After that, seeing this, I, yeah, yeah, and that's why I'm. I don't think it's depressing to. To, to to make this film a lot of people ask me was it wasn't it so, yeah. no no because we need knowledge to protect us and exactly. to, to, to survive knowledge so, is power i mean we yeah, shouldn't yeah. escape from it uh yeah. as much as we know as much as we can pre pre prevent if we do yeah. the right thing and if we yeah. try to protect the nature also right yeah 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 so um that was a big discovery and, and actually when at finally uh, after uh, many trips we finally find the liquid water and the, took some samples. And actually, the water was eight degrees warm inside yeah. the ice. Yes. Yeah. That means yeah. 
the ice sheet is also melting from inside. That was yeah, a big I think, I think it's I a know, great discovery you made. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it was important to to document it with the camera. Uh, that that was the reason I uh, I want to go because we have been discussing climate change for many many years, uh, and I have I have the feeling we don't have the same <laughs> years uh, to discuss it again new knowledge. So I want to find uh, to to. If there was any new things they discover, I want to document it with a camera. Yeah, and I so I also I think it shows that we we humans don't know everything. Yes, I mean yeah. we might think that we can control it or we might know everything, but it also shows that it's not the reality. Actually, there are lots of things still that we cannot control because we don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, yeah. I was really curious about uh, why didn't you just. Uh, Put um, just put down a camera before just going down. I mean, it, maybe you could just uh, put a professional camera and just put it down there so you can see what's down there before going down. Why didn't you do that, or did you do that before the documentary? Um, I was curious about that yeah. while watching. <laughs> we, we, we didn't do that. Uh, first of all, I think because uh, it's it will be. Well, you have to set up a system, and maybe that would be difficult. Oh, uh, okay. We never talk about that. We 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 discuss a lot. Could should we send a drone down there? Hmm. Uh, because you don't have to build something. I mean, it's very difficult to just put a camera down in a big hole. Uh, yeah, probably. And yeah. Eyes. Yeah, and it, it was spinning around, and can, can, a lot of things you have to think about. <laughs> so. We never thought about that, but we discussed a lot. Can we send a drone and can we, how can we do it? But it's very difficult to control a drone because uh, the the refraction of the in the yeah. the ice is affecting the signal. So actually, it's almost impossible to to fly a drone, and especially if it if we came to the hole and it was a small hole, it will be very difficult. Now it it turned out to be a big hole. Big hole, yeah, yeah. So, yeah but you you didn't know that before, so no, no. Yeah. And still, again, you can't control it uh, because of reflection. And finally, they want to go down because they want to drill a hole uh, and in, in, uh, drill a hole and find water. And uh -huh. uh, so far, as I know, uh, no drone can do that. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Uh, somewhere. Yeah, I understand it now because and, I was curious they, while watching. Yeah, Why didn't they do yeah. that? I mean, maybe they could, it maybe it yeah. could made easier. But now I get it right yeah. now. And also, yeah. and, in we also and we also yeah, and we also talked about uh, using a, a machine, your a winch or or a kind of machine to pull you up because we uh, it took them two hours to climb. Yeah, up. It, it's uh, it's so much time. I mean, three to four yeah. hours, right, to go back and to yeah. go down. It's it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. But the reason we didn't use a machine or any kind of, yeah, machine, uh, was because of the. It's very cold and it's hard, hard environment. And if something happened uh, when you have a machine on, and maybe it just quit and stop uh, midwise, it will be more difficult to come. Yeah, up. it would be more dangerous, I guess. Right. Yeah. More, yeah. So that's that's why the the climbers. Uh, Jason and, and 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 Klaus, they decided no, we have to do it by hand and 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 legs, and and use our bodies and just do it simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. Do it simple, and actually, it's more authentic and it's more, of course, real when you do it something by yourself and at the same time when you're shooting, and and it's it's not a fiction. You're really going down there yeah. at the first yeah. time, so it was amazing to witness uh, all of. Uh, all of your experience actually I know I also wanted to ask in a documentary we see that you go to a place where they um, contain ice from different times yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and it was extraordinary for me because if if I'm I don't uh, remember it incorrectly there was like ice from the ice age uh, do I remember yeah, correctly yeah, yeah there mm. was an ice uh, contained from ice age or like special uh, places, right? Can you explain about that a little bit? They study ice out there, right? Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's uh, one of the scientists I'm following is called Dorothea Jensen. She's mm -hmm. Danish and she's 
pretty much living on the ice <laughs> all the time <laughs> well, during, during the summertime. Uh, but she's making the ice course and she's drinking through the ice from the top to the bottom. And right now she's making a new ice core drilling. Uh, it's more than 2K, it's 2.5K deep. Yeah. Big hole. And every time, I mean, and, and she did a lot of that, uh, this kind of uh, drilling. And every time she they take off the ice and cut it down in, in pieces, uh, in one meter uh, long pieces, mm -hmm. and, and uh, put them into a big freezer in, in Denmark. And, and uh, they can always take the big ice cores uh, out and try to study inside the uh, what's in, in the ice. Wow, and, that's amazing. And, they, yeah. and yeah. they know because of the depth, uh, they know how much snow falling every year and it's building up. And it's like a tree when you can count, when uh -huh. you cut down the tree, you can count how old is this tree. And daughter can yeah. do the same with the ice core. She can count all the lines uh, and say, okay, one year, two year, three year, four year. And she can count to 11,000 years old. And then she know 11,000 years old, hmm, that's around the ice age. Yeah, uh, it's or, amazing. Or, or longer. And what surprised me and what's very, really amazing is inside the ice, there's a lot of uh, air bubbles. Uh huh, yeah. And that air is from the ice age or before that or 5,000 years old. Uh, and inside the air bubbles, uh, the reason we have air bubbles is when the snow is falling, a lot of air is kept between the snowflakes and, and the more snow is coming and pressing down the, the first snow and more snow, more snow, every year is snowing. And under pressure, the, the snow has become ice and the air is trapped inside the ice as air bubbles. Wow. And she can read, she can read the air bubbles and say, okay, 6,000 years, uh, uh, years ago, the air right here was like this. How much CO2 was there uh, in there? How much pollution? How much, uh, how, uh, was there a big uh, volcano uh, explosion somewhere? Because there's a lot of ashes inside. Mm -hmm. she, she, it's like a history book she can read inside. Yeah. The uh, I was going to say the same thing. It's so extraordinary how a mm -hmm. human yeah. kind just uh, explore history by mm -hmm. all these, all these, um, uh, I couldn't find the word for it. Yeah. All these samples. I mean, it's it's yeah. extraordinary how we just can read all the history and find yeah. out things. Yeah. 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 So it's like history, and and it's facts. So that's again, yeah. again there's no discussion, and and the the reason we know the world was warmer and the world was colder, and we have you know all this uh, ice age time and middle ice age time. It's because of her and her, uh, uh, yeah, the, 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 the scientist study about it. And then um, that's the reason we know that. And that's also the reason we're actually talking about when we have a uh, cup 25, 26, 27, next year, 28. Yeah. The reason we are talking about two degrees warmer, we can, we can have this in, in, in this world, is because of her study uh, saying, after two degrees warmer, the wa the weather and the world was like this, and we don't like that. So mm -hmm. it's because of her study, and that's facts. We can't discuss it. It's she yes. can read it in the bubbles. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's great, and I think your documentary is great in in that way. I mean, it it shows us so many things. Even people people who are involved with the environment might might not know all this information. So I think it's it's really really precious that uh, you show the world uh, what's going on going on out there. So yeah. thank you for this beautiful documentary. And do you want to add anything else to all this? No, I just want to add. Uh, I hope people will, will uh, watch it. And I think they're watching it, yeah, and I yeah. I hope that they will watch it uh, through yeah. our festival too, yeah. and uh, they will just explore the all those places a lot more, all those moulins, and yeah. 
um, like I said, I was fascinated by the documentary, and I I know that many people will too. So thank you ah, for thank great. you for joining you. us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.